everyone so I know you guys have been asking me a lot about the TED talk that I did for a class um, unfortunately I'm unable to to get the recording of it I don't exactly have like a, a something written down for it or anything because I actually had a different TED talk that I was going to do and I changed it at the last minute. But just to give you a little background, um, in my writing for business class, every Friday we have to um, come up with a PowerPoint, a presentation, and and then he'll give us a random topic on Wednesdays, and then by Friday he'll pick five random students and they have to present. We've been doing this every single Friday and I have actually have not been picked up until two Fridays ago. And so um, the the topic was do a TED talk, do a three minute presentation on something that is worth spreading. Initially had one on nutrition because you know how passionate I am about fitness, nutrition, and I had this whole thing set up: the the what to do, what not to do, genetically modified foods. Um, versus a non-GMO diet. I, I, I had like so many ideas for this TED talk revolving around nutrition. And um, I saw something online that made me change my mind the night before and I redid my entire slides and I kind of just winked it <laughs> at, 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 in class. And um, I was a little hesitant to do this TED talk because it's a very controversial topic and I didn't know if my teacher was going to be like okay Melody don't talk about this or or if um, if it was the appropriate thing to talk about but I felt I had a very strong opinion about it and it was something that I wanted to share I thought it was an idea worth spreading a little background of what I'm talking about I I saw online that there there was an article written saying that Monica Lewinsky was going to give her very own TED Talk this month. And I was scrolling through the comments and I saw the most awful comments I'd ever seen. Those of you that don't know because you're watching this in Japan or um, you, you, I don't know, you were too young to remember. Um, Monica Lewinsky had an affair with the President of the United States about 16 years ago or so. Um, she was an intern in the White House. She was a 22-year-old. All over the media, um, President Bill Clinton got impeached and um, Monica Lewinsky has not been taken serious ever since. The difference between these two people is that Bill Clinton is still very active. In fact, he gave a wonderful speech um, for the re-election of Obama. It was such an inspirational speech that some people say that that was a big factor into the re-election of President Obama. Um, and if you were to even look at places like YouTube where people are really awful and they say really mean things because they hide behind a computer, um, you'll see that they had a lot of positive things to say about um, Bill Clinton and they focus on the work that he's doing. They focus on the positive things that he is able to contribute in and that is great. However, when you look at Monica Lewinsky, this woman that made the exact same mistake, she has taken a lot of the heat for something that it took two people to do. and. She has not been taken serious ever since. She has been hiding for many years. It hasn't been given a public um, speech in such a long time. Uh, many people told her that she should kill herself, that she should change her name, why she's still around. People just bullied her so much that she is actually doing a TED talk on cyberbullying. What I thought was wonderful because she is now able to contribute and do something positive for other people that go through the same thing that she's going through. Now when I scroll through the comments of this article, they were so many awful comments that people made. They, they didn't at all focus on on what she was talking about. They focused on the mistake that she made many years ago. And the worst part was that a lot of the negative comments came from other women. 
this gap that we have of inequality between men and women is already so wide for women to constantly be putting other women down when in fact we should be empowering one another, when we should be encouraging one another and be more forgiving. If we're able to forgive the other side, why can't we forgive her as well? It was more awful to see women may make those comments than to see men make those comments because we want, we want to be respected by men, we want to be treated equal, we want the same rights, we're constantly fighting for this, but at the same time we're competing with one another, we're slut shaming one another, and we're always finding something negative to talk about one another. And it needs to stop. And that was pretty much what I ended up talking about um, in my in my TED Talk in class. And I was really worried at first when I mentioned it. I, I thought like, oh, my teacher probably thinks I'm okay with adultery or something like that. I'm not saying I'm okay with it. I I it was wrong. Both of them were wrong. However, it is time to move on. It people need to stop slut-shaming her and let her do something positive. Let her help others that have been cyberbullied because cyberbullying is actually a real thing. People commit suicide all the time because of all the awful things that other people say about them. It affects the LGBTQ community. It affects women. It affects everyone. And all she wants to do is to tell those people that have been bullied, that have been going through a hard time, to let them know that it's going to get better. There's an opportunity to help all these other people that are going through the exact same thing. So what I'm doing is I'm putting the link of her TED Talk down below. Please click on it, watch it, and, and focus on the positive side of what she's talking about and what she's trying to do now. I know that she talks about the past, but the reason for it is because that's what put her in the position where she is today. And that's why she understands the concept of being bullied, where she had to hide all the time, where she was slut-shamed all the time. That's what I wanted to share with you guys today.